Hello, this is H.C. Bailey. And I hope my controller works. And welcome back to Let's Play Second Densetsu 3. Let's head on over to Navarre. Let's invade them. Yeah. Right, they yeah. invaded us, so now it's time to return the favor. Can we land in the courtyard this time? I don't think so. Or can we? I don't... No, no, you always land in, uh... In the front gate, so don't drag it. Now I would use shade on that dark priest there, but we got ninjas here, so uh, you don't want to risk them doing okay. that. Ow! Oh, it's not use shade. Oh. Well, sometimes they will just use it anyway. The dark one's with you, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, you hold that one off, Angela. Good girl. Okay, we'll pick up where you left off, or you can just finish them. This place is a little mazy, but, well, I've seen worse. Now, th this is what we call the middle dungeon of the game, where your dungeon, the dungeon you go to will depend on wh who your main character is. We've already done Kevin and Carly's middle dungeon. Uh-oh, Ninja Masters, holy crap. They're like elevator masters, except you die. You don't know what that's from, so don't worry about it. They're in the elevator fight in uh, Dead Space 2. <laughs> I'm trying to think where it was. Yeah, both games had terrible uh, elevator fights. <laughs> Although once I found out that the uh, gravity gun made that pathetically easy, or no, the uh, force gun. It became rather humorous, but not like me dying here. Now, what the hell happened? Uh, I, I couldn't even open my menu in between there. Hmm. In between attacks, you just went boom boom like that. Uh, okay, okay, stop getting so excited, please. There you go. Okay, now this part is where it gets a little tricky. I don't think... Yeah, we can't go in there. See, these two doors lead nowhere. Oh, you know what? There is one thing I want to check out down here. There's that treasure room that oh. uh, we couldn't get to before. Someone was saying, H.C. Bailey, what if you go there after going to the Mono Holy Land? I think that still causes it to open. So, let's find out. Well, wait a minute. The top door is locked. Yeah. And I, I'm a, my character's a thief. Oh. Um. Hey, we can open it. Huh. Well, there you go. Yeah, that casts, I would guess, explode. Or exploder, whatever they call it. Yeah, I'd have to store some of my items to grab some of this stuff. Weren't there more chests here before? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, nothing I care about. Okay, never mind. Is the pumpkin bomb an AoE? I don't think so. Oh. That would oh. be nice. Now nah, just it's like an agility-based weapon or something ridiculous like that. Okay, now this is where it gets a little tricky. I forget where... Or, wait a minute. Uh, no, I think we're still going the right way. I think. Yeah, yeah, we're going the right way. Okay, now I remember. It does get a little tricky around here. All you gotta do is get to the throne room, just like in the other two paths. Oh, well... Nah, nah, let's not worry about the enemies now. I'm not gonna go back. Nuts. Ow! I could, shouldn't hurt too much. Just ignore the other ninja. Just let him stay in the shadows. I'll shadow dive him later. Fortunately, most of the middle dungeons are relatively short. Yeah. So, well, most of the dungeons in this game are pretty short. You grab it. You? You get to grab all the chests now. Come on. Yes. See, with such high agility, even you can do it. Oh, by the way, check your spells. I wanted to see what spells you got there. Oh, you do have fire jutsu. Okay, great. We'll need that for the next dungeon we're going to go to. Yay. Yeah, let's just uh, draw the enemies away. And smash them! Ow. Man, I'm using all my chocolates today. 
I'll need to restack after this. And I don't really care much for the shurikens. I guess it's kind of nice if you want Hawk. If you're playing like single player and you want Hawk to target a very specific enemy, I guess you could do that. But I don't really care much for that. Uh, let's see. Where are we? I was going to say. Oh, yeah, you get it. Oh. Yeah, hand axe, but you throw that. Let's see. There we go. Kind of an odd way to make an entrance. You can't go through the front door here. Mm. Well, she's just a fairy. All the other ones are dead anyway. Eh, I'm not going to say it. I'll spare your ears this time. Thank you. Well, how am I supposed to give you the sword if I can't move? Nuts. Seems kind of odd, a vampire with a sword. I'm trying to think of a Count Dooku reference. Hmm. Ha ha! Well, there you go. Oh, the main good guy in Vampire Hunter D had a sword. A rat infamous sword, in fact. Kind of like the, uh, Sephiroth-sized sword. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, I thought the sword was going to take your arm off. Oh, no, that's another movie. Hmm? Wasn't there something like that with Blade, where, like, someone would take his sword... He I thought the sword hilt had, like, spikes in it or something. Ah, uh, I thought there was something like... Uh, whatever. Hmm. I only saw the first one. I think and that I've... Was, that was, like, once. I think I've seen all three, but I don't remember it too well. I'm not much into vampire movies. And from what I hear nowadays, that's a good thing. That's now they have the mana sword. So, oh right, they're releasing the god beasts. That's well. If it's anything like Radiant Historia, yeah, it's not going to end well for us. Have you played any JRPGs like in the last ten years? Xeno Saga, one, two, three. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. I forgot about those. Okay, never mind. Yeah, it's three. <laughs> you just, like, never reference any JRPGs. Mm. And I barely know what Dead Space is. Oh. Dead Space 2 particularly had a, uh, infamous, well, not so much infamous, but a popular ad campaign for it. No more mana stones. Now we're going to have to rely on acorns. Mm. Or seeds, whatever they were. They looked like acorns to me. They'll become Captain Planet! No. No, they don't. No, they just become... That'd be bad. It's hard enough in the first... Well, not the first game. The last game. <laughs> so. Okay. Well, now we gotta take down the god beasts. And although I'll still approach it a little differently than before, I'm not gonna do use the exact same order as the first time. I will do the same first dungeon, at least. So, uh, you see all those little red dots on the world map there? That's where all the god beasts are. But uh, what I want to do is I want to hit the Maya. I want to restock on chocolates and uh, rest up at the inn. And then we'll go after the first god beast. Okay, we're all set and ready to go. So the first dungeon I'm going to be going to is the Gemstone Valley Dorian. I like that area to go to first because it has a really nice grinding point at the end. And... Uh, well, you want to grind because after defeating the first God Beast dungeon, then new equipment will become available, and I want to have the money for that. So, 
and old enemies. I wonder why they have such low level enemies here. You can't get here at a low... Oh, for a second there, I thought I was hot. <laughs> but yeah, you can't get here at level 7. So why do they have low level enemies here? I don't know. Hmm. I mean, unless there's a way of getting here that I don't know of. But I would think they would lock you out of the dungeons. And like, my uh, first time in Skyrim, when I... I think it was, uh, my little Conan-ish character. I wandered into some dwarven dungeon, and I'm making my way- it was hard as hell. I make my way through, I'm getting my ass kicked almost the entire time. And then, I get to the end, I solve this little gate-locking puzzle, and there's this giant mechanical being at the end. I decide to run up towards it, and it decides to crush me in about a second. It was pretty much like a giant. Hey, can you use a uh, fire jutsu on the slime there? Okay. Now this is a strategy that I love to use in this area. Use fire jutsu and, oh damn it, I can't get to Angela's menu. Okay, well what I'd like to do is I'd like to chain together fire jutsu and fireball. But now he's gonna have a chance to counterattack. Okay, this will work anyway. Good. But yeah, the nice thing about fire jutsu, not only are the slime princes weak to fire, but it also reduces their magic power, so if they somehow counterattack with poison bubble, which if you remember from the first LP is really nasty, uh, they won't... it'll deal a lot less damage, so that'll really help out a lot. So that's a combo that I like to use here, as I've already made it Salamando's Day. That'll help us get through to the end of this area and take on, well, get ready for the Earth God Beast. Next time on Let's Play Seiken Densetsu 3, I'm H.C. Bailey. I'm JB. Signing off. Have a good day.